Um, so I'm Hart Montgomery, and I work for the Linux Foundation, uh, where I serve as the CTO of the Hyperledger Foundation. And today, I think we have a really exciting discussion planned for decentralized technologies. Um, so how this is going to go is we have two fantastic industry players in the space, Shingo Fujimoto uh, from Fujitsu and Tomoko Kondo from SoftBank. Uh, and they are going to present a little bit about what they've done with their respective companies in decentralized technologies. And then uh, I'm going to ask them a bunch of hard questions and I hope you all can join in. Um, so we want this to be as interactive as possible. So please, if you have a question at any point, feel free to raise your hand and ask, and we'll try to get you a microphone. So fantastic, and I will hand it over to Shingo to start. Thank you, Hudson, for the introduction. So the, my name is Shingo Fujimoto, of the Senior Research Director of the Fujitsu. So the, uh, the, we would like to have the, two, uh, the short presentation for the two align to the knowledge level for the audience. And uh, we would like to uh, the share to the, uh, the floor with uh, uh, the further discussion and questions. So the, uh, the, my title of the slide will be a DLT into working with uh, uh, the connection chain that was a Fujitsu product uh, using to the Hyperledger cacti as an infrastructure. So the, first of all, I'd like to start with uh, uh, the question to you for the, what the makes the money in the blockchain world right now is the kind of virtual currencies and NFT will be a very short term for the ecosystems. So the, we would like to have the improved to the such a, well, the business model will be a more long term or sustainable a way for the, that which has to be a circulate to the, some of the players inside. So in that case, did we, uh, this is a kind of target area or businesses we are going to. So the, when the, we are talking about the, such a thing, so the, because of the nature of the blockchain is a pretty simple, uh, that it only managed to the or very limited digital assets. So the, we, the, what we thought was uh, how we can be uh, enriched to the, such an uh, uh, ecosystem as a uh, circulatable, we need to be combined to the multiple blockchain into the one. So the, that was a kind of combination of the, or the, the, uh, uh, the, this is a similar model of the mashup of the web uh, technologies and we are a uh, mashup of the blockchains are the, our uh, concept of the design of the services. So the when the, we are talking about the, uh, the in mashup into the, such a blockchain has uh, two different issues. So the one for the transparency and one for the much phase transactions. Uh, the, for the case of the transparency, because the blockchain is a kind of uh, opaqueness is always needed for the governance purposes. And the second one is uh, issuing is a multi-phase transaction because of the most of the business is had a, not a single shot. It has to be taken uh, several phases to uh, complete. So the, uh, here's a, uh, the reason to using to the open source. So the, because of the blockchain had a multiple choice at this moment. We hyperledger provide to the uh, multiple blockchain uh, the solution here uh, the, on the top. At least the five blockchain uh, the platforms are available uh, the, uh, with, without any fee to use. So the, uh, the, the, however, to the, that is a, a little bit difficult to, uh, the, to mash up those in, uh, in the directory because of the, there is a, some sort of the difference of the protocol and the characteristics uh, uh, the difference. So the, uh, the cacti here is uh, one of the two of the hyperledger uh, product and uh, now they graduated from the, uh, the other product ready and uh, the cacti will provide to the, some sort of the high level abstraction of the, uh, the blockchain networks. So the, here's a, a best a short uh, explanation about the cacti as a project. So cacti will provide to the multiple um, plugins those uh, the, for example, that we can be plug for the Ethereum and Fabric for the other combination targets. So that is the same for the corridor or other platform can be, uh, any combination can be uh, the pluggable for the cacti nodes. 
So the cacti node is uh, uh, the vendor specific implementation. So the, we can be uh, the enjoy the uh, the uh, the all the uh, combinations and additional. Uh, in addition, we can be multiple blockchain in the same time, like uh, three or four uh, blockchain can be integrated into the one. So the, this is a typical use case where it was introduced as a, a demo application on the GitHub. So the, uh, the when we are thinking about the three in, uh, blockchain technology, like uh, Indy for the DID, uh, the distributed identity, uh, Go Ethereum for the, uh, the stable coins, and Fabric could be uh, uh, for the case, uh, the car, uh, the lock, unlocking locking system will be uh, here. So the, this uh, assumption, so the uh, the Indy will be providing to the check of the uh, the employment of the my company, uh, for example. So the but the the my uh, employment uh, the certificate will be endured the privacy with uh, zero knowledge proof. For the case of the after the that check, uh, the discount rate was applied by the smart contract, and that uh, price will be set to the uh, Go Ethereum as a, uh, the target of the transfer digital assets. So, and the, when the, that digital asset was uh, safely or successfully settled, the car it will be unlocked for the, uh, the let's say the one hour from the moment. And after that, the, he returned to the car, and uh, the remaining the uh, the price will be a uh, cash back to the uh, uh, the client. So the, that is kind of the uh, the multiple scenario is possible for the using to the uh, cacti. So the, that is the meaning of the uh, the combination of the Web two world for the left hand side and uh, right hand side will be Web three because the people uh, think that Web three is uh, uh, the good enough or worse to use. However, it is uh, there is uh, some sort of uh, hurdle there. So the one of the uh, the, the we are uh, sympathizing to the such a concept. So the we are using to the heavily for the hyperledger cacti as a, our uh, own product. And the connection chain will be extended for the part of the, uh, the such a business logic part is also uh, implemented as a smart contract uh, the different way. So the, uh, the what we did is uh, uh, the, the smart contract will be executed to the such a scenario as a platform level and all the, uh, the record will be remained on the blockchain on the, it, that was currently implemented on the hyperledger fabric. So the, this is a QR code for the, uh, the technical detail, but uh, this is a kind of uh, the commercial time. <laughs> so uh, the, I would like to share to you here with uh, using to the, based on the such a knowledge to the, uh, the we are providing to the uh, two use cases today. Uh, one for the financial area, like a uh, cross-border uh, bond settlement uh, uh, park with Asian developing bank. So the, that the good uh, place was uh, uh, the, instead of the changing the everything, we are trying to simulate or emulate the current existing transac uh, financial transaction system like uh, uh, the, the uh, all the banks and government actually doing. So the, in the right side, hand side, this is a model of the how we can be send them, uh, the foreign money to this foreign account. We, be, we did not actually send out the physically for the foreign currency. Uh, the inside of the, uh, the mod system, uh, the, there is a corresponding bank will be intermediate for the, those businesses and the intermediate bank accept the local currency and the foreign currency will be uh, sent out from their account. So the, this kind of the, uh, mechanism will be uh, easier to be acceptable for the, even the cross-border situations. So the, uh, the actually we did uh, we implemented those we using to the multiple vendors solutions. Uh, the, uh, the we co connection chain provides the uh, the interworking for the those uh, the different vendors uh, the solutions. For example, like a uh, green boxes uh, implement uh, implemented for the uh, the local country did uh, the DBP uh, settlements like. Uh, uh, the when the money was successfully paid, uh, the, the, the ownership of the digital uh, security will be uh, transferred. 
And also the red hand side, uh, left hand side and red box one is uh, sending to the foreign currency to the uh, local currency. As a combination of the, those red and the green uh, boxes uh, seamlessly, uh, that is allowing to the cross-border DVP will be uh, theoretically possible. So the, we actually uh, built the, those uh, the patterns for the su uh, with three vendors, uh, the Soramit consensus and the R3 provide the, uh, those red and green box uh, pairs for the, as a part of the partner in the, this t uh, the environment. The second uh, the use cases here will be uh, well uh, the, as uh, showing to the possibility of the how the uh, mashup blockchain could be work. Because of the many people talking about uh, the, uh, the CO2 offset, uh, the reducing to the CO2 emission is always to the, uh, the problem, a social problem. However, to the, those work will be uh, usually uh, built on the private network because of the, they had uh, some sort of the private uh, uh, corporate secrets, maybe. So the, uh, the instead of the uh, unified to the those blockchain into the simple one, uh, the we are proposing to the uh, the intermediate by the for the case of the uh, the uh, the they need to be uh, how we can be guarantee the source of the uh, the such a CO2 offset as a uh, effort of the each companies, and once it was tokenized. That, that tokenized uh, the value will be reflect to the another local blockchains. However, to the we need to be guaranteed the consistency with, uh, the, with multiple uh, players in uh, the same country or, or even the all the world. Uh, the, that kind of the uh, the model need to be uh, the blockchain uh, interwork is needed. So the, the model was we provided was uh, in center uh, that we had a, a common a place to be uh, ex uh, creating to the uh, the CO2 offset and exchange and applied. Those are the uh, the in the, cent in the middle of the blockchain is only shared with uh, multiple blockchains, but uh, each blockchain was built by privately. That was the model of the, our proposal. So by the way, the, those, those are very uh, the, the short <laughs> uh, example for the possibility of the mashup of the blockchain. So the, uh, and Fujitsu uh, now provide to the, your uh, the test bed or a playground for the how we can be uh, mashup to the technologies as are shown. So the, uh, the please take a show photograph and uh, uh, the QR code guide you to the, uh, the demonstration uh, the site. Uh, that's my, uh, the end of the, my part of the presentation. Thank you. Yeah, so and, um, I make an effort to expand the Linux Foundation technology. So, and uh, I want to uh, make the use case uh, on Hyperledger. Thank you. So, and uh, today uh, I want to introduce using private blockchain academic data sharing platform. This use case is the first use case uh, for SoftBank, okay? So, uh, expectations for use cases. In any community, we are ensuring high security and controlling Authentication is a private space unnecessary. Private blockchains provide to be highly useful. While we have conducted verifications through Hyperledger thus far, from the perspective we anticipate, uh, we anticipate that a blockchain-based authentication infrastructure for academic information in university would be a very appropriate use case. Concerning academic data in universities, there is a desire to make it public, but there is also a risk of leakage. Balancing the desire to share and involve knowledge with a concern for the risk of leakage poses a challenge. We believe that blockchain is suitable for addressing the following requirements crucial for a res resolution in a smart way. First, it should be possible to limit the authentication scope for each case of condition. A second, the tracing of access 
behavior history should be retireable. Uh, we uh, will uh, supply this uh, use case by using Hyperledger Fabric and a Hyperledger Indie. And in future, I want to I want to uh, who did choose a uh, Kakutai because uh, each of the university has the different uh, data structure. So I, I want to connect a uh, different uh, blockchain style. Uh, and uh, currently, uh, the formation of community comprising active university and student and alumni is sought after in many universities. A company want to uh, laboratory with a uh, university student. University student want to challenge the laboratory uh, of company. So, but we have to uh, protect the data. So, uh, I want to uh, use Hyperledger. So, uh, let's introduce issue related to sharing papers ETC. Uh, about provider, persons for sharing. I want to researchers working on the same sim to utilize my research findings. I want to my results to be widely used in society. I want to know how useful my research is. I want to connect with researchers working on the same sim. Reasons for hesitation of share. What if the content is uh, reused without permission? What if it is shared with untainted audiences? And about user. User, I want to connect with researchers working on the same theme. I want to know about previous instance of research of similar themes. Reason for hesitation of reference. I cannot evaluate the accuracy of the content. So uh, now uh, we consider about solution overview. Uh, I want to introduce three key features. First, user identify verification. Verify the credible, uh, sorry, verify the credibility of researchers before sharing researchers by checking qualification information issued by universities, research labs, or participating project. Examples, researchers authenticated by the university or lab, or collaboratives, researchers providing authentication. Second, record of starting activations. Uh, record literature registration, reference request, reference permission, and the reference history of a leisure with data and time. So uh, maybe, uh, we, uh, maybe we use a uh, hyperledger fabric for um, this recording system. And we want to open the recording uh, data uh, to public. So uh, all people check the recording and uh, they get the um, information. And third, uh, difference of uh, third, deterrence of unauthorized sharing. Users can report any identified unauthorized use to certify. Maintain a state of third party verifiability using the recorded history of sharing achievements. Certifiers have the authority to revoke the authentication of researchers engaged in unauthorized use. Maybe uh, when we start to POC, uh, we have the many troubles and we have to think, we have to consider uh, all error, um, or all, all error solution. So now uh, I think three points, but uh, if you uh, advise for us um, more uh, key point, please advise. So an image of credential for sharing documents, please the uh, diagram. So uh, each of certifier and the researcher researcher uh, has uh, several um, credentials. So for example, 
a digital ID and a graduate qualification and authorship of document A. Or um, a qualification uh, authorship of document and your qualification of document A and so on. So uh, each of a researcher and certifier uh, has several uh, credentials so and uh, we can check the combination of credential. Uh, this uh, diagram uh, document sharing use case overview. Uh, researcher A uh, registered document A for sharing uh, purposes. And researcher A uh, registration to document DB, uh, researcher A. And we use hash value. So uh, we need not the contents of document. We only uh, record hash value. And uh, we will make the hash value by using the all contents of sentence. So, and uh, I think we keep the uh, security. So, and uh, registration to document DB uh, return to uh, researcher A, uh, ownership of document A. And um, researcher A uh, send search for document A and become interested a uh, literature overview public and literature as DID. And uh, if um, researcher B, um, B is interested in the researcher A's document, uh, researcher B request the researcher B uh, check the uh, leisure record and researcher B applies for reference to document A. So, and researcher B's request accept uh, by uh, researcher A. So, and begin to researcher B uh, access to document A. So, and uh, of course, uh, we get the recording for accessing uh, from uh, researcher B. So, and researcher B obtain document. And uh, researcher B uh, register document B created by referring to document A. And researcher B uh, hash B and hash A uh, recording a uh, legacy record. So this is basic mechanism. So and um, next January, uh, we begin to POC a Japanese university. So and the first step, uh, we check the basic system. And a uh, second step, maybe we start to uh, next May. So, and I want to uh, try to use a cacti. So, Fujimusa, please help me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much. My presentation is all. I have to uh, learn English. <laughs> so, thank you so much. ask a general question to start. So to both of you, why do you think enterprises have become more and more interested in decentralization in recent years? And what are some of the sort of broader, larger benefits it brings them? Yeah. Can I start from the back? Uh, the, as a part of my presentation, so the, uh, the current public chain is not the mixer of money for the businesses. So the, I think that the, uh, the, 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 uh, the we want to change the use of the blockchain for more practical or more uh, related to with, uh, with uh, real businesses. So the, that is why uh, the, uh, the people who are starting to the, uh, using to the enterprise blockchain uh, bec because of the such a uh, the non uh, cryptocurrency uh, businesses are uh, getting popular. That is my opinion. Thank you. So uh, about my opinion, uh, there are a huge data in the world. So 
And uh, now, uh, almost company uh, want to use uh, huge data, but it is very difficult to uh, collect uh, huge data. So uh, and they begin to uh, they begin to uh, use uh, data virtualizations. So uh, they uh, uh, they channel to uh, different data, and uh, they can make the original data catalog. So, and uh, about authentication and traceability, so um, all data uh, belongs to each person. So, uh, I think it is very useful a uh, blockchain, a uh, public blockchain, and a uh, private blockchain. Thank you. Wonderful. So I know you both talked a little bit about open source in your presentations. Um, so I'd like to ask again, sort of, you know, um, what role is it that open source plays in your strategies for bringing decentralized technologies to market? Um, and do you want to comment any more on any other open source technologies uh, you use? I know obviously, you know, Fujitsu uses Cacti, <laughs> of course. Okay, let's start with, uh, well, uh, why we need to do the blockchain or as open source is uh, when uh, the I provided the two use cases, both of the case, we, Fujitsu, did not build the, the, our own razor uh, the in technical. So the uh, those razors are built by the another vendors, like uh, the, for the ADP case, security token will be uh, uh, the, managed by the different vendors, also the money was also. So the such a situation, uh, the, uh, the in the legacy system, we need to be sign up to the NDA and we need to be start with how we need to be communicate to their, uh, from the beginning. However, uh, the, we are using to the cacti as uh, the interworking technologies. Uh, the we can be say here's a uh, URL you need to be download the, uh, the components and uh, there's a no uh, the sign up thing so the you can be uh, obtained the, your own code and run it and we just need to be provided the IP address and port to be interwork so that was a very fantastic thing so the I think that that was the most beneficial part of the vendors process. I think so. <laughs> so, and um, open source, uh, about open source, um, several countries are uh, engineer, correct? So, and several country has uh, many use case and data. So, and we extend the uh, idea and um, data structure and so on. So, um, I think, uh, I believe uh, we make the, um, data structure, uh, distributed data structure and uh, data authentication um, in common uh, standard. Thank you. Wonderful. And now I guess I have an individual question for each of you. Um, so Fujimoto-san, you know, Fujitsu has obviously been involved in Hyperledger since the very beginning and has started and maintained the Cacti project. Um, so how does being at the forefront of this open source innovation and distributed ledger interoperability help to bring business in decentralized systems to Fujitsu? Yes, so the, uh, the, I think that the, uh, the, the, at the time of the starting of the, uh, the Hyperasia Foundation, uh, the, there is a uh, the big debate to the why we need to be part of the, uh, the open source community because it's free and it's it's uh the, there's a no need to be participate however to the uh the uh the later on we figure out that it was wrong because of the open source technology is always that comes from their needs or their will so the what we think need to be uh, if we are taking the lead of the some market of uh, especially for the industry markets uh, that we need, first of all we need to show to the what we thinking about using to the open source code so the, that was really work for the cacti case to the now people realize the what the mashup is and what the interoperability problem is 
So the, I think that, that was a, a strong reason now from the, our company to be open source is important as a uh, the tool for the, uh, to share or to getting the consensus on the ideas. Thanks. And kondo -san, I have a question for you. So SoftBank is obviously a top global financial institution. What do you think the biggest future opportunities are for decentralization and finance? Okay, so about finance, so um, now uh, we, s we collaborate uh, um, insurance uh, and bank, uh, bank and so on um, about uh, AI solution and data solution. But uh, now, uh, a relation of, uh, but, but uh, I think uh, a relationship of trust between main banks and uh, regional banks, as well as cross industry collaboration between insurance and banking, is becoming essential. And I think a focus on data authentication on both sides is also becoming necessary. So, and uh, in Japan, um, our customer uh, insurance and bank uh, is researching uh, blockchain uh, technology. So, uh, I have to uh, supply uh, as soon as. Thank you. Great. So, I'd like to pause now and ask if anyone in the audience has any questions before I keep asking questions. Happy to hand out a mic for people that have questions in the audience. Yes, please. Your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, yeah, thank you for your great presentations and discussions. I'm a kind of big fan of decentralized technology and especially decentralized identity. So I'm now strongly interested in the uh, proof of concept you mentioned in using slide about the uh, academic uh, use case Condos using well. decentralized yeah. Yeah, uh, identity, DID. Uh, so are there any kind of detail information already published uh, we can access to the website or uh, documents? So I'm really interested in the what kind of decentralized identity are used in that proof of concept or yeah, what kind of hyperledger uh, projects are related to the project or such kind of detail information uh, is uh, what I uh, want to see. Or, yeah. oh. Thank you so much. So, but uh, maybe uh, I uh, maybe we can uh, open the uh, next year. So now uh, we uh, now uh, now uh, we begin to uh, POC. So, but uh, I here I I I I was I was hearing uh, several uh, university in Tokyo. So, and university person want to make the community of our current university student and um, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, at, I'm a uh, graduate, uh, gradu graduation, uh, graduation students. So, and they want, uh, come, uh, university, university staff want to, uh, want to collaborate a company, a company. So, um, they are interested in this case. So, uh, if uh, you have a chance, uh, I want to discuss uh, with you. So, and please advise for me. So, okay. thank you. Thank you so thank much. You so much. Yeah. As I'm talking about the, uh, from other, uh, the government member of the Hyperledger, uh, the we had a uh, pr special project named the RE's ah, uh, the for the, uh, the more generic use for the library. And we are having a new uh, project, Anacred. Uh, that is more centralized or, or the focus on the zero knowledge proof other uh, moment. So the, I think mm -hmm. that, that will be a maker interest to you. Wow. So the, please join us. So the, that is our <laughs> kind of the presentation. Thank you so much for us. Thank you. Thank you. Fujimoto-san, you, you mentioned the security token use case. And so in Japan, we obviously have security token regulation now for two and a half years or so. We've got a few platforms in existence. We've got Progmat, which has by far right. the largest volume, Boostery, there's other coming. Mm -hmm. How much space is there for other platforms at this point to still come to market and play a role? 
Thank you. The, uh, I'm not the positioning for the uh, the future uh, telling, but uh, I think that the, uh, the, that we be uh, uh, the now the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the unified to the similar platform because of the uh, the there is a no point to the different platform will be uh, kept as a separate. However, to the, uh, the, uh, the, the concept of the security, uh, the management perspective, that might be uh, uh, the, the, uh, the isolated from the other competitors, even the security companies. So in that case, still that they need to be uh, away or they could keep, uh, they want to keep the, their own solution. In that case, uh, that we can uh, use to the cacti for the uh, arrowing to the such a variant and the uh, diverse <laughs> for the uh, the interface perspective. So that is our uh, thought or expectation for the how can the security market will be changed by blockchain. Thanks. Great. I think we have time for one more question. If anyone would like to ask. Uh, hi, thank you for the great talk. Um, I have a tangential question to this. So many people are concerned about the energy consumption of blockchains. And of course, we are looking at a private blockchain, which is much smaller. But still, is there a way to put those things in perspective when we deploy them in practice? I think to the, uh, in general, to the uh, enterprise blockchain is designed for the not to use to the proof of uh, work. So the I think that the the, uh, the uh, it was uh, the we cannot uh, rem uh, reduce to the uh, the, uh, the the energy consumption than the legacy IT systems, but uh, that is just better than the uh, ordinary blockchains, uh, public chains. That is our uh, rough uh, assumption for the energy consumption improvement from the current blockchain world. Is that answering your questions? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. I think we're out of time. Uh, if you have more questions, you know, please find any of us or talk to us. I'm sure, you know, uh, Kondo-san and Fujimoto-san will be around to, you know, afterwards, or you can find them. Where should people find you uh, for your contact information? Uh, LinkedIn or? Great. Thank you all very much for your time and thank our speakers.